This morning, I'm going to take you to my favorite pho restaurants in Saigon. Now, I'm going to explain to you the difference between a northern style pho to the southern style pho, and we'll also explore some really creative pho as well. Now, I'm going to start in District 2, Tao Din. We're on Street 44, and we're here. Pho Hang Dao, which has a northern style of pho broth. Now, a very special day today because I have a really close friend visiting from New York and she loves pho. Her name is Nikki Nguyen and she's with Lynn. Come on. Good morning! <laughs> Hello. Good to see you. Mwah. Nikki! Hi, how are you? Good! So this is a very northern traditional style pho. Where were you born again? Hanoi. So this is your vibe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to order? Pho. <laughs> <laughs> smells amazing. That's what I love about northern style pho. Yeah. 12 hour broth simmering away, getting all that lovely flavours from the bones and the onion and the ginger and all the vegetables as well. Really delicious. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's here. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, it's a big bowl. Mm. 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 I love northern style broth. I mean, it's super clear. Look at this broth. Very clean, very clear. Very different to a southern style broth, which is very bold, rich flavors. Darker broth, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, what did you get, Nikki? Mm. I'm actually not sure. <laughs> oh, you got <laughs> the think, brisket? Yeah, is it? Is that the brisket? That's the that gull. gull. Yeah, nice little yeah. fat on there as well. Kind of that so sinew. Can I try some? Oh my gosh, yeah, let's this have a try. This one's really clean. The broth okay. is very, it's a lot clearer than the, the, north, the southern mm. one. The southern one, the colors are always a bit more darker, yeah. isn't Why it? is that actually? I, I never... Well, the southern style broth has a lot more star anise, mm. black cardamom, oh. cloves, you know, all the dark spices go in there. Mm. Whereas the northern style, you just want it to be really light, clear and clean. And look at the accompaniments here. We don't have bean sprout. We don't have hoisin sauce. What do we have instead? We've got some, of course, the chili, the chili sauce. Some jok wai, right? The Chinese donut yeah. essential. What's this one? Oh, chili powder. That's, that's chopped that's garlic, garlic, is it? Oh, right. I love this. But this one here, be, uh, depending on the restaurant, some of them could be really spicy, yeah. and some can be a bit more to the vinaigrette side, right? So, and the northern style of chili sauce is very different as well. Yeah. It's a little bit more kind of fermented, yeah. right? The color is a bit more pale, really, really. Ooh. It's fresher. Too. Fresher, absolutely. Mm. And I love how there's there's no basil, right? There's mm. no bean sprout. Mm, there's no coriander. It's just keeping it very, very simple. I mean, I wonder if we ask a northern style restaurant, if we ask for bean sprout, will they give it to us? Mm. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't think they will have it. Oh, look at this Ooh. one. This is pho sot vang sườn cây. Pho sot vang sườn cây. Cảm ơn em. Em ơi, mình có giá không? Dạ, pho em có chuyện truyền thống của Hà Nội là sẽ không không có rau giá. No bean sprout here. They refuse to give it to you because this is a northern style. Em ơi, let's ask for hoisin sauce. Em có tương đen không? <laughs> no hoisin sauce either, which is really cool. Keep it very traditional. Cái này là là món Hà Nội luôn em. Wow, this is really interesting. Now I got the pho bò sốt vàng, which is literally kind of translated as pho with red wine, right? Oh yes, yes. Look at that. Yum. So this is a side of spring onion and onion in broth. Now this is brisket. Kind of braised in a little bit of red wine, has that little wine tinge to it, a bit spicy. Now you notice in Hanoi or in the northern style of pho, the, the noodles are a lot thinner, right? They're finer noodles, but noodles in the south they're a little bit more thick and fat. Let's try this broth. And it's not to the sweet side, mm. the northern pho. Oh wow. No sugar, right? Yeah. Mm, yes, that's right. This is really, really delicious. Mm. Amazing. Oh. Instead of bean sprout, I'm going to put more onion, mm. spring onion in there. So how do you eat the kuei? Well, the kuei, which is the, the jack kuei, the Chinese donut, you put it into the broth, right? So it's it's quite of a crispy, quite hard now. And so if you put it in the side of your, it's like a your dipping pho thing. like that, oh. you dip it in there. Oh, it's hot. 
and then mm, as it yeah. softens, oh, it soaks up all the broth and it's a wonderful flavor explosion of texture as well. Mm. It's good, isn't it? So good. <laughs> this one's really crispy. Mm. Nice. It's fresh, right? Oh, wow. Mm. I've got braised beef briskets and also I've got some beef ribs as well. Look at this. I want to mm. try some of your soup. Yeah, try some of my broth. It's a little bit spicy. Pho mm. bao, so bang, really interesting. Can I try it too? Mm. Mm. Absolutely. I've never had that before. Yum. That's really delicious. Surprising. Pho bao, so bang. We've never oh, wow. tried it. Yeah. Yeah. That's really yummy. The, the meat just falls off the bone. Mmm. It's got a, got a kick. Okay, yeah. mm. Mm, can I try your broth? Mm -hmm. I can do a bit more chili. This one's more to the subtle oh. side. See, the broth of a northern style pho, or from Hanoi, it's just elegant, right? It's light. That's the word. <laughs> it's a more refined broth, really clear in color as well. Wow, I really like it. Pho, Hang Dao Street. 44 in Taoding, District 2. We'll be back. <laughs> oh. Guys, that was absolutely delicious. Did you enjoy that? Yes. Look at my bowl. You ready for the next place? Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. That, that, that. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Now here we are at the next location. This is on the corner of Taoding Street and Wing Dang Yai. Is that what it's called? Wing Dang Zai. Wing Dang Zai. And you can smell the broth from the window there. It's all the way down the street. Now this is a typical southern Vietnamese pho from Saigon. You know, you look at the broth, it's deeper in color. Oh, you smell that star anise, the black cardamom, the cloves. Really, really bold flavors, and you have all the accompaniments. You got your basil, beautiful basil goes in. You got your sawtooth coriander. Jeez, oh, this is what I love about the And bean sprouts on its way as well. And you also have you got your hoisin sauce there, guys. Mm -hmm. Hoisin sauce, chili sauce. I love to. Hello. I love to put it into my bowl. I don't put too much into my pho itself. I use it as a little dipping side and chili, a bit of lime mm. that goes in. It's good broth. Really good broth, isn't it, Nikki? Oh. Very good. Bean sprout, we get bean sprout in a southern style Vietnamese pho restaurant. For you? Thank you. Can I take a picture? Yeah, and have a look at this. We have <laughs> Sorry. just medium rare sirloin. We've got the beef brisket as well. We've got meatballs, beef balls. We've got so tendon. <laughs> Do you have tendon in yours? Yes, I do. I do, yeah. Show me your one. Oh, what look at that. I couldn't find mine. It's in there somewhere. <laughs> We've got beef tendon. Now, this is what I love My about favorite. Southern Style Pho. You have like everything in there. Crunchy. Really amazing. A bit of chili. Can you pass the chili, yeah. honey? There you are. Oh, yes. I'll put a bit of chili in my bowl, but also in my dipping bowl. That goes in. Oh, now this is full of flavor. Rich, bold flavors. Oh, I've got some tendon here. This is a bowl full of goodies. Oh, wow. Oh, look wow. at this. So fresh. Look how big the leaves are. You can taste the yeah. difference between a northern broth and a southern broth. Not saying the northern is, is bland at all, but it's a little bit more... Very different. Very elegant and delicate and lighter. This is on the sweeter side as well, isn't it? Mmm. Mm. Oh, Definitely a little bit sweeter. Sweeter, yes. See, I like to dunk into my hoisin, my chili. More sweeter because we mm. tried the northern one just before as well. Mm. Look what Lynn ordered. It's very good. <laughs> this is Vietnamese we call this Trung Chen. Trung Chen. Which is an egg, raw egg. Wow. Just kind of into that beautiful hot broth. Look at that. Just cooked perfectly. And it's a little side accompaniment to mm. your bowl. Wow. Southern pho. Yeah. This is wow. Good. They this give is you so really good. <laughs> they give mm. you so much meat here. Right. Mm. Every time I go running in the morning, mm. it's five, five thirty in the morning, and you smell them, the broth cooking away. And they've cooked this broth for around 14 
to 15 hours and you really taste the sweetness coming out of those bones. Wow, and that's herbs. how long they cook it for? Yeah, wow. and you can see that they start, they will start this broth 7 in the morning for tomorrow. Oh wow. Yeah. How long do they cook the northern pho for? For around 12 hours. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So much really to add good. in, I haven't even started. <laughs> So if you want a nice, lighter, more delicate pho, go the northern style. If you want a more bold, big flavours, you go for a southern pho. Both are incredibly tasty and delicious and addictive. Mm -hmm. Look how thick the meat is. Mm. <laughs> Very generous with the meat. Mm -hmm. Very good. Oh. What is Happy. this? This is called bovin, which is a beef ball. Mm. Very good. Delicious. Now this restaurant has been here for 40 years, Nikki. Wow. 40 years doing the same broth perfectly. And it's always consistent here. Mm -hmm. Super delicious. I think we've been coming here for 10 years. We've been coming here for 10 years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Breakfast. And you even notice the, the chili sauce is different. Mm. Little mm -hmm. things like that. It's not as fermented as a northern style. More of a sweeter, sweet chili sauce. Do they use the same chilies? Different chilies. Mm. Different chilies from north to south. So I've taken you to a northern style restaurant. This is a southern style pho restaurant or eatery. The next place, I'll take you to somewhere completely different mm. with really creative dishes. Okay. But all surrounded around the pho concept, right? Okay. Now the next location is also in District 2 on Sun Tui and it's called Pho Sol. I love it here, it's nice and cool, beautiful courtyard and I love coming here because they do Pho Bo Lang which is wok toss beef in a bowl of pho and also hot stone pho, keeping it really super hot. What I come here for. This is the, the wok toss beef. So they don't they don't marinate or season it at all. Mm -hmm. Throw it in a flaming wok, you get that smokiness of the wok hay there, mm -hmm. and that's it. Bit of garlic, beautiful broth, and spring Let's onion. Very, very simple. Boys. Let's try a little bit. Now this one here, the soup is a little bit northern style as well, but I'm gonna put a little bit of chili sauce, northern style chili sauce into my dipping sauce. Look at the colour of that. You want some as well? Yes, please. Yeah. And then some garlic. I love that they make their own chili sauce. Right? Mm. Nikki, can you throw me some garlic, please? And Ooh, this fish lime. sauce is a bit darker. Fish sauce, look at that. And that's a perfect dipping sauce for this wok toss beef, this bò lang. And then you put lime? Yeah, a bit of lime in there as well. Mmm. So good. Mm. Mm. They well, want to keep that, that is really natural yummy. beef flavor. Isn't it good? Mm. 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 I like the smokiness in the, in the beef. And now, tender. Mm. When was a dish like this invented in Vietnam? I'm not sure. Mm. I think it's a northern style dish, but who invented it? It's, a, it's genius. Yeah. It's genius. And then you've got this stone bowl, this hot stone, which keeps the broth super, super hot. And it's like a shabu shabu. Mm. So you grab. Thinly sliced beef here, super fine, paper fine, and then you just kind of dunk it in. And I like mine, you know, almost medium rare, and that's it. That's how I have mine. What about you, Lynn? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like mine kind of medium rare. <laughs> how do you like yours? Dave. Yeah? Yes. Shabu away. What about you, Lenny? I like mine medium rare yeah. as well. So. And the broth is super say... hot. <laughs> oh, John wow. Zemini. Look at that. Come on, you. Okay. Thank you. Can I tell him, Mom? Can I give this to you? Of course, thank you. Oh, that's perfect. Thank Perfectly you so cooked. Much. And I love how you can cook it the way you want to eat it. Mm -hmm. Now, this is called 
Alpha Jing Fong. Now, look at this. This is wow. around three or four layers of um, the pho noodle cut into squares. And they layer it, and they press it together, and they flash fry it until wow. it puffs up. Look at that. And they've got this lovely pho gravy, wok tossed as well with garlic. Ooh. Mm. I put a bit of oyster sauce in mine as well. And it just... Mmm. Look at wow, that. How amazing. Little pocket. Mm. A little mm. pillow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Mmm. Stuff some beef inside there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Try some of that. Thank you. This dipping sauce is so tasty. Right? Mm. And different styles of pho. Mm. Not your traditional noodles and just broth, but hot wok toss beef, little this pillows. Is amazing. Gorgeous, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Very interesting. So in Vietnam, you have so many different varieties of pho, from the north to the center to the south, and there's really creative ones as well. Mm. So this beef is slightly different, right? Mm. It's got a bit of a gravy, yeah. gravy sauce on top. There you go, guys. You might pick some more veggies. Want some more? You like that one? Mm. Yum. In Vietnam, it's called ngò gai, and I would just kind of pluck some of that in there. Mm. Mm, smells delicious. Good, isn't it? Well, What's pho like in New York? It's um, great, but yeah. there's not much of it. Right. Um, there's only probably a few restaurants. There's Madame Vo that has pretty authentic pho, but yeah. it's still not. And not as much variety like here no, in Vietnam. No, no, and it's a bit more westernized. Right, right. People aren't you know, used to the flavor yet. Yeah. So, you need to bring the pho there. Can I try that again? I love <laughs> this. Do you know what they have in here? Oxtail. What's in there? Oxtail? Yeah, oh, I just wow. saw an oxtail in here. All the flavor comes from oxtail. Mmm. Well, that was really delicious and lots of fun as well, showing the northern style to the southern, to the creative and modern. Now, let me know what dishes you want me to try next. I'll see you soon.